What are we thankful for? Beatbox. beatbox. <laughs> yeah. Down. Is it true that the guy who made beatbox is the guy who ro- rides those skateboards? Like that dog face guy? Like he invented this? Not invented it, but like, you know, the founder? Yeah. No oh, way. Yeah. Ugh, I look like Edna right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Medias Locas podcast with J2 Lit and Jen. That's right. Welcome Ooh. back. Tap in. If you're on the audio, what's up? If what's you're watching up? us on YouTube, what's up? Hello from Medias Locas. Happy Thanksgiving from us to you. Yep. Happy Thanksgiving. We are so thankful for this guest because she is a ride or die right here. She showed up straight out of work. Literally. <laughs> she out here who yeah. we got. Jen? We got our girl Cass in the <laughs> This is a returning guest. We love to see it. Period. She's going to be like our unofficial host. For real. I'll be here, here and there. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Today, we're going to get into it. Even though we're super, we're super thankful for a lot of things. Hashtag Thanksgiving. We're also kind of thankful for life experiences and lessons that we learned from toxicity. So we're going to talk about toxic people. <laughs> Not us toxic talking people, yeah. toxic stuff on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving toxic <laughs> traits. <laughs> it's a media loca way. No, but I mean, maybe something it'll help. It'll help someone out there. Or yeah, I mean, you can't be thankful for stuff without having the good, that, the bad. The yeah, ugly. the good and balance. the bad. It's a balance. Yeah, yeah, because then you don't appreciate the good. Mm-hmm. So to start it off, what would you guys describe toxic as? Like, what are you, Hmm. what is the dictionary version? (laughs) What is the dictionary version? Yeah. Let's look it up. It's probably going to look up, like, the actual chemical term. Yeah. Like, something that's just bad for you. Yeah. Right? Something that's bad. Like, veneno kind of. Negative. Negative. Okay, so Google says a toxic person is anyone whose behavior adds negativity and upset to your life that part that's what it is many times people who are toxic are dealing with their own stresses and trauma to do this they act in ways that don't present them in the best light and usually upset others along the way so basically they drag you down down, with them therapy google coming through (laughs) google knows everything for real sometimes i feel alive sometimes i'm dying (laughs) like it just depends (laughs) and sometimes it confuses you yeah (laughs) you'd be thinking you have an ulcer when you really no. have kidney. <laughs> I have like that problem where I always think that I'm dying. Oh my god! Like me hypochondriac. Too. So me like, too. Oh, no I don't way. have it that bad, but like, I'll have like, oh, my heart will start beating, and I'm just like, oh my god, I look it up, and I'm like sweaty, or my arms now, I'm like, oh my god, dude, my I'm heart having a races. heart attack. <laughs> Wait, seriously? I feel yeah, like I think that it's too. more. Just, I don't know. I think it's just an anxiety. Like I have anxiety, mm. but like it makes me think I'm dying. Like I literally feel like I'm dying. I know. Oh, I know. Yeah. Someone. It's scary. Yeah. Sometimes it's like so <laughs> random. Like I'll be like completely happy yeah. and then an intrusive thought will hit and then boom. Is that me being negative to myself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's you being toxic. That's yeah. you being toxic yeah. to me to being, yourself. <laughs> me being toxic to myself. Yeah. <laughs> literally. Jenny, chill. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, girl. Yeah. I'm like talking to yourself, you're like, no, I can't. <laughs> I do sometimes. Yeah, I'm like, see. dude, chill, bro. Like, chill is not that deep. <laughs> You have a hiccup and like, oh shit, I'm dying. Oh, yes, that's how it is for me. Or I have like a like a mole or something. I'm like, I'll look it up and then I'll be thinking about it the whole day just looking at it work. And like, Google doesn't help. Google's no, toxic. Makes it worse. Yeah, Google's you know what? Google's a toxic one. We're throwing that out there. Google's fucking toxic as fuck. Hell yeah. It is because like sometimes it tells you what you want to hear. And sometimes it tells you stuff that you don't want to yeah. know like. And then you go into the rabbit hole. Yeah. And, you're just and then especially with Google, too, like, when you work, look up health stuff, it always tells you, like, oh, like, 911 is, like, one of the first options. Like, if you're having heart pain or oh, yeah. chest <laughs> pain, it's like, oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm like, like, fuck. I'm like, it hurts you. Yeah. yeah <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> my high set is so bad. Like, because I go, I always go out without my glasses. I don't know why. That's toxic to myself. <laughs> it is. Like, because... 
Like sometimes I say that every time I'm being toxic. Yeah, that's toxic. That's toxic. toxic. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, I'll I won't be able to see shit like at raves. Dude, yeah. Like I was lost I'm so like, many times at me. escape, and I don't even know how I found everybody because my phone was dead. Dude, the the Lord was on my side that night because I I kept finding everybody. Like every time I would leave, I kept magically finding somebody, and I was like, oh my god. Oh hell yeah, you were being protected. Oh my god. I was like, because my phone was dead. There was no way. Well, that's us being toxic to ourselves. Yes, definitely. Do you have toxic tendencies, like, with other people? I do. <laughs> really? <laughs> but not. Like, She's I, like, let me expose think, myself. I think it's more, like, as in, like, relationship-wise. Like, when I try dating yeah, people. Yeah, relationship. Like, I feel like sometimes, because my last relationship was so toxic, like, I couldn't have friends. Like, I couldn't be around guys. Like, he prohibited you? Yes. I didn't have a job. Like, I lived with this guy, so I didn't have a job, nothing. Like, he, the only thing he really did for me was, like, he paid for me to go to school. So I was going to school, like, college. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. But, like, he didn't want me to have a job. And his excuse was, like, oh, I want you to focus. But I know it's because he just didn't want me around people. And, like, even when I would go over to, like, my uncle's house, like, Danny, like, I would hang out with his brother a lot. And he was like, are you sure that's even your uncle? Like, are you Shut lying to me? Like, yeah, like that kind of crazy. Like, that. <laughs> you're like, bro. So I feel like a lot of it kind of rubs off on you when you're dealing with it. So like for me, like, I feel like sometimes I get really jealous. Mm-hmm. And like, I don't like that. Like, I hate when people are jealous with me. It's just like, you know, give me my space. Like, yeah. I'm not, you know, you could trust me, you know. But like, for me, I feel like that's like a really toxic thing. Like, I get super jealous mm-hmm. and I'm like. What is he doing? What are you? Where are you? You're at? like calm yourself. Yeah, I'm don't like, show I'm it. Like oh, I gotta be normal. <laughs> You're like let me hide this shit. Wait, but yeah. are you the jealous type to like be out there about it, or are you more of like you keep it to yourself and then like you low key explode? Yeah, no, I'm the type to keep it to myself, but then like one day like I'll just explode. I'll be like, what the hell? There you did this. You did that. You Ooh, did that. Same. <laughs> saving saving receipt. Yeah, She's no, like. Remember Dude. September 8th, yeah. 2012? No, I'd be doing that. I'd but be like, really? I sent you this text on this. Yeah. Look at this. Remember this mm. day you said yeah. this? I used to say I wasn't toxic, but then I realized I was. No, I feel like lately I haven't been, but it's because I've just been keeping to myself. <laughs> but like with the relationship shit, yeah, like I get super like, what are they doing? They're lying. Because you're previous, like yeah, you said, like, your previous he's telling habits. He's out with somebody else. And we're not even dating, so you, there's, you have no really right to do that shit, you know, like, when you're not dating somebody. So it's more to, like, oh, I have to literally just sit here and, like, deal with it and be, like, no, just be normal, relax. So I think that's where I'm really toxic, but I have been trying to work on it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're in her therapy For session. <laughs> I'm like, like <laughs> you know. But at least we're admitting it, you know? Like, yeah. Not everybody's perfect. I think it's toxic to feel like you are perfect like there's nothing wrong with you you. like yeah this is like a healthy way of saying like yeah i'm toxic but i'm trying to get better yeah literally like you said you hold back you could explode but you don't yeah you wait (laughs) to explode (laughs) when i have enough evidence (laughs) that's toxic (laughs) that's toxic like i feel like that's even more toxic because you're like keeping all these tabs like if something bothers you i think you should just say it yeah say it then and there yeah and then get over it like you know you know what I used to do? Every time we would get into an argument about something, I would write it in a note and I would keep track of everything. Oh, shit. Every time we would <laughs> argue what it would be about yeah. and then I would go back to it just to remember like, damn, don't be dumb like that again. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, no, you did Listen this before. Like, yeah, I remember like, you doing this. <laughs> I swear, I used to be... Yeah. Instead of letting shit go and like moving on, I used to be like that. Like, No, I feel like that was a thing with me too. Like I kept the grudge, like grudges, like super bad like even with like friendships too like now i feel like i'm different like now i'm like it's not worth the friendship or like whatever it is like just talk through it and get over it but Mm -hmm. like before i would be like nah fuck that bitch fuck that i don't want to see you i don't want you around me but now i'm like you know what let's talk about it (laughs) (laughs) and then i'll cut you off yeah (laughs) if you have like no like you know like if we can't get through it then okay but i give you a chance now yeah. <laughs> in those situations i feel the same way but i feel like i would keep my distance more yeah right yeah, yeah. i feel like it can never be the same but mm-hmm. yeah at least you could try like to make like it i better. tried yeah one one. you know what um me and will were talking about last time um we've been Will's watching jenny's boyfriend yeah so we've been watching jersey shore family vacation <laughs> Dude, that shit's Dude, intense. I just started watching Dude, it yesterday. It's so good. <laughs> season so four good. is oh. fucking good. I'm on oh season my God. one. <laughs> Dude, no, season four is really good. And um, 
Anyway, so they basically are always fighting with each other, like the girls. And I asked him, I'm like, do you guys ever fight like that? Like, do you fight with your friends or like get into arguments and then, you know, like basically make up after? He's like, no. I'm like, he's like, that's toxic. I'm like, <laughs> it's happened to me, like with my girlfriends. Yeah. Not like anything crazy where like, oh, they steal my man and like, no, nothing like that, but just like little bickering stuff like mm-hmm. over dumb stuff yeah. you know and then i feel like for girls it's so normal to be like that man be like fuck you <laughs> <laughs> that's true or like disagreements and you're like mm. yeah i don't uh, know but yeah i know yeah, i get you yeah that's true no like when i hang out with the guys like some when they argue like their arguments are just insulting each other and then like the next moment they're all chill like they don't even talk about it yeah they're just like whatever they're just they start making jokes with each other and then it's like nothing happened I'm like I'm more like, mad for them yeah, than they are with each are other. Like, yeah, I'm, like, I'm like, you should have said this. Yeah, you should have said that. Like, That's crazy. What does Google say toxic traits are? I feel like being envious is super toxic. Like being, being envious, like, yeah. Jealous, like just in general. Google says there's six types of toxic people. Number one is the energy drainer. They make you feel tense. They put you down for no reason. Can't be happy for others' good fortune. I feel like we all know somebody like that. My dad. <laughs> <laughs> Not you putting your dad. Like, I know. <laughs> fuck. Nah, he's just so negative. Like everything I say is just like he has something bad to say about it. I guess. Like mm-hmm. I could be talking about something that I did the other day. He's like, oh, like, well, you know, this happens if you do that, and it'll be just like the simplest thing. I'm like, <sighs> that's so true. Like, just be happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, next one is the fake complimenter gives you fake compliments, lacks empathy, puts you in uncomfortable positions. I feel like that's more in, like, girls. Yeah. Yeah. Next one is the pessimist talks down to you to make themselves feel better, only cares about themselves, tries to talk to you out of your dreams. And the next one is the criticizer. My old boss. Sorry. (laughs) <laughs> doesn't support you in your decisions criticizes every move you make makes you feel like you can't do anything right narcissist that's the criticizer oh and then the next one is the manipulator tries to control everything pretends like you and other people pretends to like you and other people wants to make every decision for themselves and others so basically they want to control you mm. and then the victim Blames others for their misfortune. Constantly seeks attention from others. Talks mostly about their excuses for failing. Damn, that's like Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is Ronnie. Because like, I, I was watching that today. And right now, like before I was, I got here. And he was just like, he cheated on his wife. And like his pregnant girlfriend, I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, he, he was like trying to gaslight himself. He was like. I didn't do nothing. Dude, it's like he like, doesn't fucking evolve. Yeah, like, bro, and then, like, up. I was like, geez. He did that to Sammy so many times. Yeah. Like, damn, I feel like he has a little bit of all these six <laughs> traits yeah. in himself. Yeah. Nah, he reminds me of my ex-boyfriend. That's how crazy he was. Fuck. Shut literally, up. Literally, like, when I write, I posted something, because now it's funny to me, but, like, before, I was like, damn. But now it's like I can make jokes, so... I posted that on my private story, like, a picture of Ronnie, like, when he's, like, all sat on the couch, like, on the first season. <laughs> I was like, this just reminds me of my ex. <laughs> like, dead ass. It's so crazy. crazy to me. He would be, like, the most toxic person and then cry about it. Like, what the no, fuck? No, that's how my ex was. Dude. Like, he would, oh he, I would do, he, we would get in a big argument and then he'd start crying. And Saying I was like, what? like, he's like, oh, like, you hate me. Like, you, you hate, hate me. me. Yeah, because you just always try to make me, like, the bad guy. I'm like, you are. You are. <laughs> like, you don't want to make this work. Yeah. And I'm, like, trying. Yeah. Like, we're not working because of yeah. you, not me. <laughs> I wish back then I, w- I would be a fighter because I would fight him if I was me now. <laughs> <laughs> she said. Socking the air. Literally. Or punching the air. <laughs> Do you think you being in that toxic state affected you in other relationships, like with your friends or your family? Or I think for me, like with my family, like because I he took me away from everybody. Like I moved out of my I ran away from my dad's house. Technically, like I had how just, old were you? I had just turned eighteen. Oh, dude. Like two months. You're twenty one now, right? I'm twenty two. Twenty two. But I had tur- I had just turned eighteen, like two or three, like two and a half months before I left. And, like, he kind of gave me an ultimatum of my ex. He was like, oh, like, because me and my dad were having issues, 
like arguing and stuff. And like I would have left regardless, but I just wish I wouldn't have left with him. But like he was like, oh, like if you don't move in with me and you don't come with me, like we're just gonna break up. And like I don't want to be around you. Like basically, he just gave me like this whole like thing. Like either you come live with me or we're done. And like this is my first boyfriend, like first everything, you know. Wait, so, he had like, a, he had like well, a I moved separate in home? with him um, with his family. Oh, so shit. like I lived with him and all his family. Oh, Ten fuck. nine other people I lived with. Shut the fuck. <laughs> Wait, how old was he? He was I was. 18 he was 20 he was two years older than me oh shit so like i didn't know what to do i didn't want to lose him and i was just so dumb you know like you're so young that's your first relationship you're like i'll do anything like you know Mm -hmm. whatever so i packed up all my stuff because like i would be alone like all day long taking care of my little sister so nobody was ever home so i packed all my stuff and like one night he came and picked everything up and then a saturday it just happened that my dad and his girlfriend went to a party like a little family party, and um, I took the rest of my stuff and I wrote my dad a note. <laughs> like, oh, no, shit. like this is like real shit. Like I wrote him a long note. Like it was long, cause I tried leaving before. Like I actually tried talking to my dad, but he didn't want to listen. So I was like, I wrote him a note telling him why I left, and I lied to him where I was going though. Like I didn't tell him I was gonna move in with my my ex boyfriend. No, hell no. So then I move. I go. We go to his mom's house, and she tells him. Like he tells his mom. Like. Oh, like, is it okay if she moves in? (laughs) Like, he didn't even ask her. Like, he had told me he already had asked her and talked to her and stuff. And he hadn't even (laughs) asked her, dude. And he asked her in front of me. Oh, In front of me. Like, and then, like, his mom has always loved me, though. So, like, she had no problem with it. I knew it was genuine. But then when he had to ask his dad, he asked his dad in front of me on the spot. And you could tell his dad was like, what the fuck? Mm. Like... And I told him, I was like, dude, like, there's no way I'm going to stay here. Like, the next day, I was like, I have to leave. Like, I can go to my grandma's house, like, where I live now. And he was like, no, like, we're breaking up, blah, blah, blah. He's like, just give it a month. A month turned into a year. A month turned into a year. But it changed, like, he just changed me as in, like, I couldn't, like, barely even see any of my family. Like, I had no friends. Like, the only person that I would see really was Denise. Like, that was the only person he would let me see. And then even then, like... If she had her boyfriend around, I couldn't go. Or, like... Because it was a dude? Yeah. What the fuck? Or, like, like, any little thing like that. Like, or if she had friends that were guys were around, I couldn't be around. Even my uncles, like, if their friends were around, I couldn't be around. Like, it just changed me. Like, it took me a lot of, like, mending relationships. Was he Latino? Yes. <clears throat> Wait, how, was he the same age as you? No, he was two years older than me. And then, like, I think another thing, too, that really messed me up was, like... I met him, like, three weeks after my mom had died. So, like, I was such in a vulnerable place. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, I was just in a place where I just needed something and, like, someone. And, like, he took advantage of it, like, to the max. Because I was just so dumb. I was just, like, I think that's why now I'm just so, like... Like, you're guarded? Like, yeah, like, I'm like, like you have your wall up. Yeah, your like, wall definitely. Up. I feel yeah. like lately I've been better. Like, it took me almost three years. But, like, I think finally, like, I've been, I'm at a place now, like, where I'm super good, like, I got I got healed through all that stuff because like it took me so long to like figure out how to be on my own because I was with him like every hour of the day like besides when I went to school but even when I would go to class he would like walk me to my door of my class he wouldn't even be in college he wasn't in college he would literally walk me to my college door and see me sit down and see where I was sitting and then like leave and then he'd be waiting for me outside of class after like, Ooh. like, how did that make you feel? Like, did you like it at the time? I feel or like were at you the like... time, like, I would tell him stuff, but like for me, it was like we, if I brought it up, it would cause an argument, and like we already argued enough as it was. Like any little thing I would do, like it would cause an argument. Like I feel like we argued probably every weekend, and every weekend I would pack my stuff up and like re- like say that I was leaving because I would like leave, and then he like we I would end up staying, but we would like break up <laughs> every weekend fighting. And all of this in front of his family. Like, dude. all his family. Yeah, dude. It was so bad. But I think that's some, like, the hardest part was, like, fixing all those relationships that I messed up, you know? Like, obviously, I let him influence me. It's not, I can't blame everything on him. So, like, it was just me fixing my relationship with my family and then, like, my dad and everything. Like, everybody. So, like, fuck. it just took me, like, a lot to fix everything. But fuck that. Yeah. Well, when did you end up leaving? Like, when were you like, you know what? <clears throat> Fuck you know what? Shit. It's crazy how it happened too. Was because like I was in class, like I was I'm like I was in college, and um, he was texting me and texting me and texting me because we were in an argument, and like 
I was in class, like, I couldn't answer. And he was like, if you don't fucking answer me, like, I'm fucking done, like, all this stuff. And I left class. <clears throat> I was like, <clears throat> I left class, and I called him. And I was like, dude, what do you want me to do? Like, I can't, I can't keep doing this. Like, I need to focus, you know? Like, I can't put everything aside to fix this right now. And then he hung up on me, blocked me on everything, like, Instagram, like, everything took all, deleted all our pictures before he blocked me so I could see, like, he did all this extra stuff, and then he's, like, he kept texting me, he's, like, oh, so that's it, we're done, we're done, and then I was, like, I was, like, you're the one, like, doing all this extra stuff, and I told him, I was, like, you know what, dude, I was, like, yeah, like, I can't, I can't do this anymore, like, I really can't, and then he just, like, blocked me, everything, like, he kept calling me, though, so I called his mom, and I was, like, Honestly, like, I can't do it anymore. Like, I was, I was, like, crying to her and telling her, like, I have to leave. Like, you know, she offered to pack all my stuff for me, like, so I wouldn't have to go back in the house. And li literally within that, like, whole day I was gone, I think I went back home, like, to his house, like, at 8 maybe. Everything was packed for me. I left. Never saw him, like, for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Wait for a while. I know. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, what? <laughs> like, I saw him again, but it was just me being dumb because, you know, like... I was all heartbroken and I feel like it happens though like so from that time that you left how soon did you see him again <laughs> the next day no I saw him three months later okay yeah see, that's oh, that's, that's more um it's normal to like talk to them again a few months after or whatever after yeah um but as long as like after that time that you talk to them again you don't continue the same thing because when you continue the same thing then that's when it becomes like a cycle and you do no, over and over again yeah i saw him for maybe like a week and then like what makes it more fucked up is he's the one who like ghosted me again like he was like oh. yeah <laughs> and then after that i was so heartbroken like for like i would like i feel like i like went through like the worst heartbreak of my life but then after it like i came back such a better person i feel like it changed me for the better like obviously i wish it wouldn't have happened but i for i feel like i don't regret nothing because like it made me be more like mm -hmm. a better person yeah you became especially like the way i treat people and like the way i act and like all that kind of stuff like i i like the way i am like you know i feel like i'm just way better oh hell yeah, yeah. i don't make you stronger especially yeah. those kind of experiences i kind of went through similar but um I got into a relationship. I think I was single for like two or three years. And then I got into a relationship and then I was like, oh, fuck. Like, I thought I was completely healed. Yeah. And then things <clears throat> came up and I was like, oh, um, I'm a little bit toxic. Yeah. Like, I'm still trying to heal. But I think I was reading this article where, <laughs> no, where uh, the this doctor talks about how if you can sometimes a person you need another relationship to heal you or yeah. like oh, to I, I heal that. through that process yeah. yeah and i'm like oh fuck like it's so true. you never know so you mended your friendships family and all that situation yeah there's just one friend like my best best friend he made me cut her off like right when i moved in because she was the one who was telling me to leave like right away and she was like, dude, like, cause he would, he would do shit to me. Like, you know, like fucked up shit. So she was like, dude, like, why are you dealing with this? Why are you putting up with it? And she would tell me, like, she stopped being nice to him. Like when she would see him and we went to like a kickback one day and she didn't say hi to him. And like, that's just disrespectful. Cause like, you know, you want everybody to say hi to your boyfriend, whatever. But I, I get it now, you know, but back then, like, I was kind of like, what the fuck? So we left. Like, he was like, why the fuck didn't she say hi to me? Like he got mad at me. He's like, what are you telling her? Like, you know, like he was already getting defensive because he knew, like, you know, basically. And he was like, oh, you're fucked up. Like, she's over here treating me like shit. He made me cut her off. He was like, you either cut her off or like, you're going to get out of my house. All what this bullshit. Fuck? And like, I tried mending my relationship with her and then she just didn't want to. It sucks because. Because I get it. Yeah. Like, yeah. For me, looking back at it, I hated being that one friend that would like make up and break up eventually like my friends started kind of like separating themselves because they were like dude like it's just too much it's draining to be friends with somebody yeah, that's did. always going through shit um but then again now looking at it like i felt really alone and i fell into like deep 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 depression because of that so now whenever my friends are going through that like it just kind of 
puts me back into their place because I used to be in their position. So now yeah. I'm like, I'm never going to turn away somebody like that. You know, yeah, you may not be making the best decisions, but at the end of the day, like, it's your journey to go through. And yeah. eventually, hopefully, you'll learn. But if you're like that one friend that's like, no, bitch, you better leave him or I'm not going to talk to you again. All you're going to do is push your friend push away, away, you know, instead of like being there for them. Like, it's just it's hard because you I understand both sides, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But if you're that friend and you have a friend in a toxic relationship, just be there be for them. There. That's it. Just be there for them. And that's all you could do. Yeah. Shout out Denise. She would pick me up every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I swear to you, every time, even when he would leave me stranded, like he would leave me stranded places sometimes and she would go and pick me up and go get me. And every time she'd be like, are you going back with him? And I'd be like, yeah. She's like, all right. Like she wouldn't like, yeah. she would get mad at me, but she wouldn't like give me a hard time. She mm -hmm. was just kind of like, okay, like, you know. Like She's probably need, happy it's if over. You need, yeah, no, definitely. Like, I was at her house for a while when she I broke up a party. with him. No, <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I think she had said once, she was like, oh, like, I'm sorry you're feeling this way, but, like, I'm happy that it's over. <laughs> I was like, damn. Dude, you be putting your friends through that, <laughs> yeah, too. dude. I was like, I'm sorry. Dude, but it's like, and then when you get through it, you're like, oh, it's like you see the whole world differently. differently. Like, I'm like, damn, I was really that dumb? Damn. Like, yeah. That's why sometimes I'm like, when I see people that way, I'm like, I'll, I'll be like, oh, my God, they're so dumb. But then I'm like, no, bro. They just don't know It's because sometimes they're not so woke. Yeah, like, sometimes you're so, like, caught up yeah. in everything like dude that's how it was for me like you're just so blinded mm -hmm. and like for what like but the thing that makes me happy though is like he's going bald now <laughs> so, like, <laughs> i thought you were gonna say like you're better now dude, but you're like no. now he's bald <laughs> it's okay like obviously i'm way better but it's because i still talk to his sister i actually ran into her recently which is weird dude. but like and i still have his mom on social media and stuff but, like, I don't really talk to his mom as much anymore because it's just hard for me, too. Because, like, I, I got really close with her. Like, I was that was the only lady I had to talk to, like, all the time. <laughs> so, like, it was just me and her. But So I'll still see him here and there, like, on my stuff. But it's really rare. rare but, like, yeah, he's not. You're like, hey, he's you're not, bald He's now. not would, doing the best. Would his mom tell you to leave him? Yes. Dude. And then they would even tell me that they would kick him out and that I could stay. <gasps> That's how bad it was. Like. Cause we would argue so like he would scream at me and cuss at me and call me names in, in front of them like in front of his family like he did not care where we were like who was there so like it would get to a point like one time even his aunt came to me and talked to me in the room and she was like you don't need this like she's like you know like because i was doing so good in school like i was doing really good and she's like you can do so much like she's like just stay here finish school like get through it get through it you know and then even his mom and dad were like oh no like we'll kick him out like you can stay like you know i was like damn <laughs> yeah Dude. like that's how bad it was but but that's how you know they're like good people you know yeah now his parents were really toxic too though to each other mm -hmm. like they were super toxic to each other but like not to other people i yeah. guess you know so maybe that's why but still i get what you're saying yeah does toxicity run in the family though i feel like it has a big part in it like, I feel like if you have, if you grew up seeing it, I don't, I don't necessarily think sometimes you could be totally different, you know, but like, I feel like if you, you're around it, sometimes that's like your norm that like you're like, oh, this is how it's supposed to be. Or like, oh, you know, everybody's like this. And then you go out there and you're like, oh, maybe not, you know? So I feel like it just influences you more to think that's the way people are. People <laughs> also mature differently. And then some people feel like they can't get out. Like one of my friends is in that situation, like a toxic um situation and as much as you're like i know what's happening i know what's going on sometimes a person doesn't let you leave and you think like man i was so dumb or like man this and that but sometimes a toxic person becomes so like a leech that they just have like over your thoughts your emotions like all that shit you feel like you can't really do anything i mean at the end of the day i think you got to think about it this way you only have one life to live do you want to live it so miserably? Mm -hmm. And if you are miserable, you got to do something to change it. You know, like, like evaluate your whole life and be like, all right, what do I need to do to take the first step to get out of this? Yeah, It's not <clears throat> going to be easy, mm -mm. but you know what? Like, you got to do it because if not, you're going to be stuck in that way forever. Like, think about yourself in 20 years mm -hmm. if you continue that that cycle. 
like really just be in the same spot yeah but sometimes like the help is not there like sometimes people try to do it on their own like in my past relationship i was it was toxic one of them and i try to get a restraining order i had evidence like camera footage text messages voicemails him showing up around my house at work like everywhere and that wasn't enough like i'm like it's i know yeah it's so tough and like i think that's why it's they have to kill you for you to get a fucking like no i think that's why it's important too like for like you said like if you have friends in that like don't leave yeah like even though it might be annoying like because sometimes i get it like i've had friends now that i'm like different <laughs> like they'll be telling me their situation and sometimes i'll be like damn bro like again again but i'm like no like i i just it's just so important to be there for people mm-hmm, i feel like yeah. that's what i learned too like yeah no matter what like as much as it is annoying or like whatever that's bothering you like who cares like at the end of the day you might be saving this person you it's know it's true you just really don't know no, yeah, yeah. It's true. like but i get it sometimes other people's burdens really like bring you down bring yeah. you down like it just depends on what the scenario is yeah some people are crazy though like Dude, some people are fucking crazy. Like, I had a stalker <laughs> ass, like, showing up outside my house. I remember one time when he was outside my house, and he was singing because he was so drunk, and he was, like, on the fence or whatever. And then my brother showed up because my brother would come down on the weekend sometimes to our home. And my bro- I was outside, like, crying, and when my brother pulled up, I was like, oh, fuck. Like, I cannot make, I can't make a scene, but it was too late. He saw me. He looked at him. He saw his car, and he was like, oh, fuck, no. He, like, reversed and, like, started cussing at him. He's like, what the fuck? She doesn't want you. Like, it's over and all this shit. And, yeah, it was pretty traumatic. (laughs) No, I have a stalker. (laughs) (laughs) And, like, the only reason why I feel like I know is because, like, so I used to work at this warehouse. I don't know if I ever told you guys. Did I talk about this? I chopped my finger off. Like, it grew back. I have a picture of it. What it the grew place? back? You it's chopped your finger So off? I used to work, like, in a, like, with all guys. Like, the only reason why I got the job was because, like, my friend. Let me see if I can find the picture. My friend, she worked for an agency. Like, she was, like, the front, like, office lady. So, like, I needed a job. Like, I needed a job. And she got me a job. And I thought I was going to do, like, some, like, because they had, like, senoras working there, too. Like, so I thought I was going to work with the senoras. But, no, they put me in wood shop, like, I, was like, I, remember I, I remember i showed up and i was like oh hell no nah. because they put they took he's like oh go talk to mike and i had a friend that worked there with the senora so she was like oh no you're probably gonna come with us like don't worry no they sent me there and i literally worked like in a wood shop like cutting wood with a saw like stapling, why didn't you say anything like i don't cabin- want to do this well because like honestly it was really good money like this was like 2021 and i was making 18 okay so okay, like yeah. This was, like, good money, like, you know, and I needed a job, and I was like, you know what, who cares, like, I can do it. I ended up getting the hang of it, and then one day, like, literally, like, 20 minutes before I was going to clock out, I was trying to clean out the machine, because, like, we would staple canvases together, like, it was like, you press on the button, and it staples wood together, like, Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And I was trying to clean it out. Did you get it? I don't know if it's saying it. I was trying to clean it out, and, um, it's still setting, and, um, what's it called? I accidentally put, like, I was trying to press a button to move it back, like, so I could, like, you can spread the machine apart. And I accidentally put pin shot, and it, like, literally, like, just stapled my whole finger off, like, the tip part of my finger. (laughs) Did you scream? (laughs) Um, Honestly, it didn't hurt me. (laughs) Until, (laughs) until, 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 (laughs) no, no, until I got to the hospital. Like, right when I sat in the hospital. I think I had so much adrenaline because, yeah. like, I didn't, like, all I, all I saw was, bl- okay, there you go. All I saw <laughs> Oh, it's, hell Yeah, no. it's really, Ugh. it's really <laughs> I'm not looking at that. Wait, no. what the fuck, dude? Shut the fuck up. Oh, Shut, let me like, see your finger. Like, I don't know if you can kind of tell, but it's just this one. You can see, like, the scar, like, when you, like, Dude, really what like the, this to the fuck? Camera. Can we post this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm this here. picture? Okay, yeah. warning. <laughs> no, warning. Ooh, it's super graphic. Oh, my God, warning. that's disgusting. Like I'm not gonna look. <laughs> just look at it real quick. Know. Two seconds. I saw, Ready? One, two, three. I saw all the red. Fuck that. <laughs> sure. I did not look. Dude, that's disgusting. So like, I don't know what to okay, do. Bitch. <laughs> not me being toxic. She's like. <laughs> uh, 
fuck that, dude? Um, that's your fucking fever. Yeah, dude. How the fuck did it grow back? I, and you know what's so dude, fucked up? Hold up. I see that in movies. Deadpool like, did like that. Like a nail. There's no like, way. No, it was her so whole ass finger. They couldn't. They didn't have a piece to like put back or nothing because it literally just went in the machine. <sighs> and what? like, um, <laughs> they couldn't sew it together because then it would make my finger even more deformed. Like, it's not that bad. Like, you could just see this, like the whole scar. But like, it's just numb. Like, I can't feel the top of my finger anymore. Like, it's on them. Dude. Yeah, that happened. But there was a guy there that I would hook up with here and there. <laughs> this is a stalker story, Keith. <laughs> Back to the stalker like, yeah. story. And, like, um, like I, I told them from the jump. I was like, dude, I don't want nothing serious. Like, you know, like, I don't even want anybody to know. Like, you know, like, low-key vibes. No, like, he tried to make it known at the whole warehouse. Like, he would come up to me at the warehouse, try to give me hugs. Mm. and like we would hang out after work and like sometimes like on our days off whatever but like it was just for me i saw him as a friend like i never i never ever like had feelings for him sadly i'm like you know sorry but like (laughs) i didn't and then um like after that i chopped my finger off obviously i stopped working there like uh you know so i didn't see him as much anymore and I was like, you know what? Like, I don't really think I'm going to see him anymore. It's, like, not convenient for me. So, like, <laughs> that's fucked up. But, like, convenient. <laughs> <laughs> that part. <laughs> so, like, I was, like, I was just trying to, like, let it go slowly. And then all of a sudden I get a text message on Instagram, like, a request. And it's, like, a long-ass paragraph from some girl. Okay? I be- Before I even read the paragraph, I go on her profile. She's pregnant. So I like oh I read the paragraph and it's her like telling me like oh I don't know if you're dating Jose that's his name I don't give a fuck because <laughs> w- hopefully he does see this shit so he knows to leave me the fuck alone mm-hmm. because fuck that shit like I can beat his ass but I know where you live I know people who could get you okay? <laughs> that's right so don't mess with me bro Jose chill the fuck out literally <laughs> we said sit down <laughs> so like. Um, I get this messages from, from his girl, like this girl, and she's like, oh, like, I don't know if you're dating him. Like, apparently he told her that I was dating him. She was like, oh, this is my man. Like, that, that's my girl. Like, he was sending pictures of me. Like, because me and him had taken selfies, but, like, they weren't anything bad, you know? So I didn't really care. Like, I was like, whatever. But, like, it just made me mad that he was saying that me and him were together. And he was, like, throwing it in her face. Like, I guess, like, that was her toxic ex. So oh, like, so she was he was trying to show off, like, and he oh, was this like, "Oh, girl. this is my new girl. Like, you know, she's so much better than you. Like, you're stupid. You're a hoe." Like, she showed me all the messages that he was sending her, <gasps> and fucking guys are so. And cool. like, she was like, "I'm just warning you. Like, I'm just really trying to." Like at the time, I was just like, "What the fuck?" Like, I was like, "I don't want to talk to both of y'all. Like, both of you guys leave me alone." You know, like you know, now I'm like, "Oh, poor girl. Like, fuck, you know." But like. Before, I was just like, no, leave me alone. But, yeah, she was like, oh, no, like, trust. Like, she's sending me pictures of you guys saying that you're together. And, like, he's calling me all these names. And then I texted him, and I was like, bro, like... And I hadn't seen him in a good, like, month or two, okay? Like, this had already... <laughs> time, Like, time had passed, like, because this is already after everything happened. And... But then the thing that weirded me out was, like, she kept trying to talk to me. She's like, oh, if you need to hang out, if you want to hang out, like, you know, all this stuff. And I was like... I'm not trying to hang out, bro. Like, so then I text him, and I'm like, bro, like, why are you telling people that we're together? Like, who is this? Like, I'm not trying to get involved in your baby mama drama. And then he's like, that's not even my kid. That's some other guy's kid. Apparently, who knows, whatever. Point is, I blocked both of them, and then I kept getting requests on Snapchat. Even though you have their number blocked, somehow, I think if they know your number or your, your Snapchat... They can add you, yeah. but, yeah. like, he was making fake accounts, but, like, he his it would still be the same number. So, like, he was, like, deleting Snapchats and then Freaking remaking idiot. them with the same number. So, it would pop up, like, his username, like, his contact name on my phone. Because I still had it saved. And I was like, bro, what the fuck? Like, leave me alone. And then I was having all these fake accounts made of me on Instagram, like, of, like, those sex accounts. So, like, I texted him, and I was like, bro, is this you? Like, are you doing this shit? Because that's some shit he would do, like... Like, he would always try to get me to date him. Like, that was his main thing. Like, oh, like, you're so beautiful. I've never had anybody like you in my life. Like, all this bullshit. And, like, so I thought it was him, you know? So I, that's the only reason why I messaged him. I was like, dude, like, are you doing this? Like, I can't deal with this shit. Like, leave me alone, blah, 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 blah. Then time goes by. Every, like, so often I'll get, like, a message on Instagram. Like, a, it'll, I know it's him. Like, he'll be like, hey, like, I really miss you, blah, 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 blah. So I unblocked him, and I was like, bro, why the fuck are you messaging me? Like, leave me alone, you know? 
And then he's like, oh, can we just fuck, like, one more time, please? Ugh. Like, all this thirsty-ass, nasty stuff he was asking me. And I was like, dude, what makes me even think I want to touch you? Like, I don't even want to be around you. And he's like, dude, chill. It was a joke. It was a joke. And I was like, dude, leave me the fuck alone. Like, this is my last time I'm going to tell you, like, leave me alone. And then I haven't heard from him, like, probably a good, like, maybe four months, five months. And then, like, last month. I got, I kept getting no caller ID at work. Like all day, I was getting no caller ID. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? I was like, this is weird. Somebody, it has to be somebody I know. And it, it was me hoping it was my old boo. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I, was like I was hoping it was my old man that I had just, I just dropped. I was like, please. I was like, please. And then so I, I answered it because I was just like hoping it was somebody else. <laughs> and dude. This fool Toxic. was on the phone moaning and shit and, like, making oh sex noises God. and doing who knows what. And I kept saying, I was like, what the fuck? Like, I was like, who is this? But just by the sound of what he was doing, like, I could just, you know, you just know it was them. Yeah. yeah. So I, like, I, you can't even block a caller, no caller ID, which sucks. Like, you know? So, like, he kept. You can silence them on kept, iPhone. He kept call, Oh, no way. Mm-hmm. Oh, my I'll God. I'll show you. Yes. But he hasn't called me since. So he kept calling and calling after. And then finally, like, he gave up, I guess. And ever since then, I haven't had anything. I mean, here and there, I'll have fake accounts, like, watching my Instagram. But, like, I don't know. It could be him. Who knows? But, like, he was crazy. Like, Dude. even when I wasn't even, like, we were just friends, whatever, he would even be like, oh, why are you going out? Why are you doing this? I'm like, dude, like. <sighs> Dude, go no. bug Kylie Jenner. Like, you know? No, that's oh, how I feel like with him, God. too. With the guy, like, before I had him blocked, like, he would catch me in a day. Like, he kept bugging me. So I'd be like, I would like message him back, and then I think he they see it as like, oh, she's trying to talk to me, like they're yeah. just stupid, like dumb, like crazy. But imagine how many celebrities go through this, and they have like a bunch of people obsessed with them. Damn, that's, that's scary. scary as fuck. You know, like Damn. like Kylie Jenner. Imagine how many dudes like obsess over her and send her and send her shit like that. Oh hell no. Imagine how many stalker stories she has, yeah. like and like. We're over here stressing about, about what? <laughs> but you know what? We don't have fucking security yeah, and like all this shit. Like, hell? dude, it's because okay. So I've been watching this show called um, Obsessed, and like it's about girls telling their stories or guys telling their stories about how they meet somebody. It could be their like their husband or their boyfriend or just some random person they meet. How they get so obsessed with them and like they end up escaping from the people or like whatever. So they basically tell their story. I'm just like, dude. I do not want to be on that fucking <laughs> show, dude. It was like Jenny's episode. No. <laughs> no 20 <mommy>. years. <laughs> Not <Knock> on wood. <laughs> Fuck yeah, no. Like. <laughs> but it's scary how some people are just like not all there. I just like, feel like it's just so much like my my first reasoning is kind of fucked up. I was like, he's never fucked with a bit better than me. So I was like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Is that toxic or not? Yeah, no key, no key. <laughs> She's like, that's confidence. But then I was like, you know what? It was getting too weird. So I was just like, nah, like, they just have something wrong. Like, I don't know. I think it could also be too, like, they just, they're just, they just, that one little thing you did just made them obsessed and that's it. Like, they're just stuck on it. That's I don't know. It's weird though, right? I just like, feel like for me, like, I'm the type of person that, like, gets embarrassed for everything. So, like, just doing any kind of shit like that would make me embarrassed. Yeah, like, like why? Like, ugh, like I don't never, want people to like. Never yeah, see me you'll thirsty never, like you'll that. never catch <laughs> me lacking like that, bro. Fuck like that. <laughs> what do you think? What's wrong with them? <laughs> I don't even know. She's like, I just heard horror stories. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm tripping, but then you know I got kind of scared because I just see like something passing by me, and then I was like, what the fuck? Cause I can't see. So oh all shit! I see is, like, like all I see is like a figure. You didn't see somebody just pass by? Bitch, what the fuck? Yeah, it was Will, oh, yeah. Fuck. Oh, yeah. That was Will. <laughs> I couldn't see who it was, but like. <laughs> so I just watched The Barbarian. God. Wait, what is that? You haven't ever heard of that movie, The Barbarian? You guys haven't heard of the movie? Let me write it down. No, it's is it on Netflix? It's on HBO Max. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's not, it's a good movie. It's, it's with the guy who plays it, Bill Skarsgård. I don't know. You guys know. Uh, <laughs> point is, it's just a creepy ass movie, and now it has me looking everywhere. Like, I hate that shit. I can't do scary movies. I used I to be that way, and then until recently, like I don't know what changed. I'm just like, I like to watch scary movies, but only if I can like close my eyes and like 
hide. Hide or like <laughs> what? <your ears. laughs> so what's I only the like point? to watch them if I'm with somebody. Like if I have like oh, no. you will never catch me watching scary movies by myself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what the? Fuck? I, I mean, know. I did it the other day. You know that that movie, the house at the end of the street. Girl, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't even know. Mm-mm. No, but that was the first time yeah, I, I watched. Like, I watch documentaries, but not no, like same. actual movies. Movies freak me out. Mm-mm. Yeah, the thing that gets to me is like religion movies. When no, like, I hate that shit because it's <sighs> real. Like I don't fuck with it. Like Mm-mm. exorcist movies. Yeah. Nah, fuck Mm-mm. that. Mm-mm. Or like ghosts and like demons. Uh, anyways, not us <laughs> talking about <laughs> no, this. like stuff. Not us talking you're about this. Like, it's Thanksgiving month, guys. <laughs> Let's. Not. I'm thankful to be guarded by God. Yes, <laughs> that part. Oh hell no! I saw your reflection. I was like, "Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that?" Not us, scary girls. We should have talked about this during October. Oh, <laughs> oh dude, yeah. yeah. Well, we totally missed it. <sighs> Damn, we went in. We went in, but aside from all the toxicity, let's keep it positive. <laughs> For real. <laughs> like, like the toxic let's shit. Switch you know, it up. Learn from me. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch. Yeah, no, learn from your mistakes. Learn from other people. And then if it's your time, if you need to go through it, then you need to go through it. But like yeah. learn from it. Don't repeat cycles. It's probably hard, but you'll get through it. Eventually you'll end the cycle. Um the grass is greener on the other, other side. side. It no. is. The grass is greener when you water it. So water your own grass <laughs> because be that mentally too. aware. <laughs> be mentally aware. It's not always about running away. It's fixing your shit. Yeah. Thank you for listening and watching. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're listening, follow us and follow us on all social media at Medias Locas Podcast. Thank you, Cass, for coming through again. Follow her on social media. We're going to put it right here. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube. And we hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Tune in on Tuesdays. We post our episodes. So if you haven't watched all the other episodes, watch it during Thanksgiving. Like, wait until the food's being cooked and then watch the videos or listen to them. Wednesdays, we post our Truth Dare shot. So after this, we're going to play that with Cass. So make sure you tune into that. Yep. Peace, Peace. out. Peace. <laughs>